If you look at the bandwidth utilization between March and April and May of 2020, it increased 40% literally overnight. I have today declared that the coronavirus presents a public health emergency in the United States. Over the last couple of years, most of us have gotten pretty used to having no commute. And let's face it, striking business casual from our vocabulary. The average video uses about two gigabits of data every hour. Multiply that by millions of users and add on top of that all the 4K streaming and all the other modern conveniences, and you're looking at a huge drag on network capabilities. Connecting everything in the modern world are data centers. And contrary to popular belief, they're not just storage spaces for inert data. They facilitate the processing power behind every connected thing we usually take for granted. I'm Doug Adams, President and CEO of NTT Global Data Centers Americas. Today we're taking the plunge into the plumbing of modern data networks and how data centers can keep our highly connected and increasingly remote world online. One of the turning points in the data center industry was really around the pandemic. I remember I was traveling on the East Coast at the time and they were just starting to announce what the pandemic was. Stay at home. Stay home, stay safe. Quite simply, stay at home. We sent all our employees home. Within a week, we had all of our employees, except for our security and our mission critical staff, working from their home offices. People are doing teleconferences, Zoom and Teams and other tools at a rate that I don't think anybody ever anticipated. The effect of that work from home behavior really caused a rapid acceleration of the adoption of the cloud. Companies understood they couldn't run their own data centers if they couldn't staff their own data centers. It's amazing the amount of bandwidth is driven through content. And that content, I would argue, greatly enriches all of our lives. It's not just about streaming movies. None of the things that we enjoy as a society are possible unless data centers exist. That is the piece that data centers bring to society that I don't think people realize. None of those things can happen unless that data lives somewhere. If we were to go down, very serious repercussions would happen if our data center is not working properly. Over the last four or five years, supply chain has become very important. And this, of course, was compounded by the pandemic. That tension and that stress was too much for the supply chain to handle within the data center industry. It used to be a one gig connection was all you could drink in a data center. Now we have tens of gigs and hundreds of gigs coming into data centers. And to connect that information to a data center, they really need to have some type of an enabler like 5G. And what 5G really enables is the edge. The push in our data center industry is to make sure that we have data centers at the edges, the tier two cities, the tier three cities, to accommodate the streaming of 8K video, to accommodate analysis of agriculture. Ag is a big user, believe it or not, of data centers. Agriculture becomes much more efficient when they analyze the weather patterns, they know the proper time to harvest. When you go to a stadium, they're deploying facial recognition technology so that they can ensure there's some bad actors that are trying to come in, they can catch them before they even enter the stadium. All those kinds of things are really enabled by back-end analytics at the edges. Every time I look at my Apple Watch, I think to myself how exciting it is that our company plays a little piece in that information exchange that's happening. It's not just streaming movies. It doesn't just enable people working from home. We serve up mission critical data. Hospitals can't perform operations. Airlines can't fly if we're not up and running. And we need to keep them up 24 by seven and we do.